On today's stream, I watched even more of YouTube's scariest ghost sighting videos. Now, as you may already know, a channel called Bizarre Bub puts together these scary compilations of all the ghost sighting videos they can find on YouTube. And some of these are inexplicable and absolutely terrifying. They've changed my perspective on the paranormal. And some of them are not so realistic and obviously faked and honestly quite hilarious. So if you're looking for a good blend of laughs and scares, then do feel free to subscribe. I watch and try and debunk so many ghost videos over on my Twitch. But if for whatever reason you can't catch those streams live, sub to this channel so you never miss them here. Anyways, all that being said, I hope you enjoy this stream. We've got quite the array of scary compilations in front of me. Quite the array. One may even say, too much, but I'd say, hark, because it's quite a fun word. Anyway, I think we should click on one of the ones that says, when you see it, because it reminds me of those memes when it, back in like 2012 where it'd go, when you see it, you'll shit bricks. Uh, is that baby flying? Is that a flying baby? Look at that baby! Wait, pause. Is that a floating baby in that? His name's Connor. Is that a, a flying baby named Connor? We should watch this one, I think. He's cheating. He's in creative mode. That baby's in creative mode, and we need to figure out why. We're watching this one. I'm on it. We're already on it. There we are. Straight into the first video. How is a baby called Connor going to be flying? You telling me Connor eats those? Ready user no. You telling me he really ate those pants? You telling me he really? You telling me that guy really ate those pants? Watch. Reddit user no tell is this one's fake. I can tell because he started it with Reddit user. Alone Let's carry on. House, when something really creepy is caught on camera, no tell. Swagger souls. Tell me I'm not the only one who sees it. I'm house sitting for my aunt who is out of town, and I'm kind of freaking out right now. This is what he caught. I don't know if I'm seeing face reveal or tripping. He's, tri he's tripping. He's tripping. Sound. For real, he's tripping. That's why. I'm already this skipped my aunt's this son's room. Right. Why is it a mess, bro? There's what have you been doing? In this? Clean up a little bit, you know? He's away. At least help him out. Right. Nothing. Cool. Closet. No monsters in there, I don't think. Okay, no monsters in the closet. That's always a big win. Get a nanny camera in here. I, I couldn't fucking tell because of the focus on this camera. Jesus. All right, now tell me right on the monitor here. Tell me that doesn't look like someone standing in the room. Six months, yippee. Where? Like. Where? Yeah. <coughs> like, I've, I've checked, like, went back and forth three times, and I. This? Is this supposed to be the human? Are they a, a small human? Because this is. This is a set of drawers, and his head barely comes above it. I. I, it looks like a Sour Patch Kid. <laughs> I don't think they mean this. That's clearly one of the toys. I think they mean this thing. Yo, two years. It's just Wait like a little guy. Five years. Yeah, I think of the two years. Two years. Oh my god. Wait for three point five. I can't wait till people start getting three year subs. We're a while. What's three years? Thirty six. Thirty six months. I don't think we have anyone at three years yet. But we're coming up on it, though. We, uh, like, as of s pretty soon, some people should... There should be some 36-month subs. Oh, I got hiccups. Oh, I made myself a big food. and Oh, my tummy feels it. Yeah, I mean, it kind of looks like a shadow person, but I think it's just, like... I, I think it's just poor resolution camera and, like, shit in the room, to be honest. Like, I get that it looks a little bit like a head, but I think it's just the way the room is. <sighs> Take the monitor into the room with you. So, okay. Nothing, right? <coughs> we'll go in the room then. Like, what the f 
Step into frame of the camera. Next to the toy. You're a moron! Oh, oh, You're a freaking moron, numb nuts! I, I see it, but like, nah, I don't. That's the dinosaur, and then like, I think it's just the, you know? A dinosaur. A shadow Thank you for the uh, eight months for like the oogly boogly. I shit myself. Seen standing in front of the desk. Now, at first glance, it may seem like a random shadow that's being cast, but if we look closely, the shadowy figure is clearly obstructing the view of the orange toy lying on the table. It also seems to be blocking part view of the orange toy lying on the table. It also seems to be blocking part of the desk, suggesting it's a solid figure. I don't Feeling know. Freaked out, no tell continues to record. I'm just not convinced. And captures this. Oh, he keeps going. I do not want to go back in there. Why? You have an idea. Put this like right here. What? Oh, and you are you gonna go in there? I saw a ball in the other room. I'm gonna go grab it. Okay. Make sure it's clear. What? What? What are you? Oh, what's he doing? Definitely something in there. I, I. It's a cool little fake. It's a cool little fake, but you silly. You silly. What? Yeah. Understand. Like, cool fake, but like, realistically, if you wanted to prove to me that, like, you, you know, like, throwing something. Because obviously, like. Right. Like, my thinking. There's no reason to throw a ball in there other than to prove that that's live feed to the viewers. But if you really want to prove it to them, walk in there with the thing in your hand and stand in front of the camera and film it. Like there, done, boom. You know what I mean? I just don't really like get, you know, thank you for the five months by the way, Christy, but like, you, you know what I mean? You don't need to just throw a ball. Like obviously he's now, I, I get the impression he's just playing a video on a, I Sorry, know. I didn't steal my mom's prime before four months ago. That's okay. I forgive you mostly. Notably, Notel is too afraid to go back inside the room. After throwing the ball and seeing that the camera is actually functioning, he runs away. Okay, bro. Feeling more scared than before. Now it's worth mentioning yeah, this that dude the man in his pants. The footage is unable to record video. Therefore, whatever's being shown isn't pre-recorded. But rather, live footage ah, of the room, as it can't it. record, so it can't be pre recorded, guys. There has yet to be an update on Notel's situation, but for now, I'll leave it to you to decide as to whether or not something paranormal is happening. I don't know, I'm, I'm a bit skeptical of this. I'm, go I'm gonna put money on the fact that this is probably fake. I think there's way easier ways that are more concrete of proving it if it was real than throwing the ball. Therefore, meaning that, you know, yeah, I'm sorry. Ghost or not, you be the judge. I'm being the judge. I think it's not. I call you when I do nothing. What song is that? Sorry, it was the, the opening note was the same. The second one wasn't. What song the is family that? That really annoyed me. What song is that? When I do nothing. Oh. Oh, I think I know what song it is. Um, it's. 
that song. I found it. It's called Lately by Metronomy. But it just, it's a similar. It's. The second note's wrong, but the, the first one is. Face with peeking eye. It's similar, you know what I mean? It's similar, it's similar, it's similar. It's similar. Anyway. A family That's all. It was just me. I, I, I like when I hear things that I recognize. Theme park and encounters something pretty terrifying. On June 2nd of 2022, Noor Ifrina Rosny had joined her husband and son at a Malaysian theme park located in the state of Johor. During the time she was there, the Malaysian so theme park in 2022, Noor Ifrina Rosny had joined her husband and son at a Malaysian theme park located in the state of Johor. Okay. During the time she was there, Rosny recorded every moment of the trip. Okay. The camera's attention was mainly focused on Mohammed, her son. Mm -hmm. Not much else stands out in the video except her child. That is, until later in the trip, okay. when Mohammed is seen on a ride without his parents. Yeah. It's this video in particular that has left viewers unsettled. Why? I'll play the clip oh. first. It's this video in particular Wait, I think I that. that has left viewers unsettled. I'll play the oh, clip no. first okay. before showing what exactly was captured. That being said, yeah, see wait. if you can spot anything unusual about the video. Okay. Some but creepy ass kid. Leave the kid alone. He ain't do nothing. Ooh, the fuck? The Eight fuck? Months. It's been great, Mr. Manifold. You are so appreciated by all of us, 07. Thank you, I appreciate that. I really, really, really do. What the fuck? Now, in case you missed it, if you pay- A whole ass kid disappears! Did he fall out and die? Close attention to the passenger next to Mohammed. You'll notice that as soon as the cart spins around the coaster and comes back to the camera, the passenger is no longer there. The child that the was right next fuck? to him disappears. Mohammed's mother immediately noticed the missing boy after the second spin. Now, as some viewers have commented, it could be that the child had hid below the seat when the cart was out of sight. But, if we pause the video at a certain point, we can see from a certain angle that no one was hiding underneath. Fuck! To make things even more creepy, when Mohammed's mother asked him about the boy he was riding with, he seemed to ignore the question, as if he didn't know what she was talking about. If he didn't know that someone else was riding with him, then what exactly was caught on camera? Could it be that something paranormal was caught? Or... <laughs> he logged else? off, yeah, he left the server. <laughs> he got bored, he just quit the game. It's captured. Unless more information comes to hand, this video remains a mystery. That's weird. That's a weird one. I, I, cause I like, I don't know how you would do that. Bar editing, and it's kind of hard to edit. Like, it's not impossible, but it's you know. Erm, what the fish? What the ma what the manifold? What the manifold, dude? We need to bring back what the manifold. I forget about that all the time. I want what the manifold to maintain being a thing. We need to say what the manifold more. I keep forgetting about that one. That, or uh, my dad told me a story of when he was um, a bit younger. He went on a ride, one of those spinny ones, and his friend slipped under the, the the belt. He slipped, and he like started coming out the car, and they had to grab onto him to stop him flying away. Maybe that was what happened. Maybe the kid died, or maybe he had already died and was a ghost. Boo! A motorcyclist is cruising on a hill when he finds an abandoned house sitting on top. Mm. He proceeds to check out the place. What the manifold? The wind is shaking the walls of my room, but that Jack manifold grind never stopped. Thank you. Thank you for saying what the manifold. That that means a lot. Sorry the wind is being like that. I don't like the wind when... I, I don't like the wind sometimes when I'm in like a high up place. It, it and happy freaks to make me out. It to a spooky stream. I'm glad. I'm very glad you're happy. I'm happy. Feeling a bit scared, kick. as you can't help but feel an ominous vibe surrounding the property. Little does he know that something utterly horrifying would occur while exploring Perfect this place. Perfect thing to watch while writing my dissertation, this is which I'm doing on analog horror. Ooh, very interesting. Please do, please do say more if you can. Very cool. Thank you for the 19 months. Be caught. Hello. Hi. 
Okay. He finds an abandoned house. He goes inside. Nice house. I mean, abandoned, but nice. Months, that's a long time. Any music recommendations? Lately, metronomy. Thank you for the year 20 months. Okay. Holy Creepy house. Shit, this is scary. It yeah. seems like someone's fucking like squatting there because of the mattress, you'd assume. Dude, this is how horror movies start. Why is he like, why is it ASMR, man? Why is it ASMR, man? He's like so close to the mic. It's got that like sort of quality to it, you know? Dude. It's got like that gain turned up sort of vibe. What if he gets pushed? Is he gonna get pushed? No. Okay. That is fucking. That's unsafe, though, man. Just talk, my guy. It's abandoned. Fucking heebie jeebies, dude. Nah, he's got the heebie jeebies, man. La criatura! El chupacabra. Did it say he was in Mexico or something? Why have I decided I needed to speak Spanish? My brain was like, this is a Spanish place. And I, I, it, was that said? Or did I make that up? Before we go down into the creepy dark room. Is, is it anywhere Spanish speaking? Or do I just make that fact up? Everyone's just saying don't go in the basement. Answer my question first and then, and then we'll proceed. Please, please, please. Come on now. Did I just make this up? It's not Spanish. I did just make that up. Okay. California. Okay, yeah, I literally. <coughs> in my brain, I was just like, ah, this is this is this is in like fucking Mexico. I don't know why. I just saw the video said that. Hello? Hello? It's fucking eating the microphone, man. Sleep, goat, horse, dog, pig, snake. What? Sleep, goat, horse, dog, pig, snake. Gay sheep, goat, horse, dog, pig, snake, bird, hermaphrodite. Big word at the end. That was some real fear, man. He, he did a real, like... <laughs> Dude, he shitted himself. Naturally, as anyone He would, shit! Like, did you hear that noise he made? <laughs> the, the... <laughs> Realistically, though, it's a squatter, isn't it? Like, there's... There's, there's a mattress... Yeah, that, that was the sound of the shit leaving his pants. Then <laughs> sound of like shit leaving his fucking pet. Either way, um, I, I'm yeah, it's probably a squatter. Like, there's a mattress in there. You know, there's writing on the walls. Uh, it's an abandoned house with a mattress inside. Like, realistically, there's just a fucking like homeless dude like chilling, and he made a noise. Naturally, as anyone would, the motorcyclist leaves the property at once. Feeling yeah. totally spooked. Yeah, you. Uh, yeah. Most viewers believe that whatever was thrown had to be done by a poltergeist or something paranormal. As For the general atmosphere of the place seems to suggest this. Then again, the the vibe. They. You're telling me the the experts said, oh, it had to be a poltergeist. The place just has that vibe. It has ghost vibes, guys. It couldn't be a homeless man. Homeless people do not exist. Only ghost vibes. Ghost vibes. Vibe check first. 
Yeah, I went there. It sounded like it could be a homeless guy, but then I checked the vibes and it had pretty ghostly vibes. A few believe that it could have been a homeless individual who was using the house for shelter. Whoa, eight months. What? A few believe this. A few. A few simple-minded skeptics believe it could be a homeless guy. A very, you know, the, the, the mental gymnastics and reaching they've had to do to reach this are, is incredible. But they have determined that it is a homeless guy. But all the experts and geniuses know that this is, in fact, you know, a, a poltergeist. So, yeah, you know, yeah. 3.5, what the manifold? Thank you for the 35 subs. Appreciate the eight months. Whatever the case might be, there's no doubting that the encounter itself is pretty scary. It isn't known if the motorcyclist will be coming back to explore this place further. <laughs> no, of course but not. given what occurred, it seems highly unlikely that he would. Yes, because As always, he disturbed a homeless man. This? Is the house inhabited by a supernatural force or is something else inside? A bloke! Feel free to share what you think a down fella. below. You, oh, you, you, you. How'd you go from disappearing this child? This video was posted on a YouTube channel, which only- My God. I, I, I thought it was a blunt rotation. Dude looked like he was about to smoke up some weed. Look at this guy. I thought he was, was grabbing the blunt. POV, you're the blunt. <laughs> POV, you are a weed on a YouTube channel, which only has one video. The video in question is the one you're seeing. However, there's something very odd about this footage. This video was posted 14 years ago. Look at the ghost still, behind. to this day. Sense. <laughs> Weird. People can't seem to explain it. Right from the start, we can see what appears to be a group of friends hanging out inside a room. They are. Not much happens at the start of the video, but when one of them plays their guitar, and another begins to sing. Something pretty creepy is captured. All right. This is what was caught. Please. Let's play some shit. Yeah, now I'm with you. Thank you. That was weird. That was weird. And this is one of the videos I'm more inclined to believe as well. Just to, just to put that out there. Weird. As the camera points to one of the friends, we can see behind him at the window of what looks to be a person staring inside. It is weird. They appear I'm not necessarily saying that like, oh, it's a ghost, but it's weird and... <sighs> a video posted on YouTube 14 years ago like that makes me less skeptical than something posted like nowadays, you know? Editing software was hard to get a hold of. People didn't have the skill set unless they were like, you know, fucking Eight educated on it. Now. And I'm just a little like... Seems a little bit more legit, you know? ...to be observing them as they perform their song. Although having an audience is something this group would appreciate, I'm sure they would prefer having. <laughs> he got jokes kind of now. He's got jokes now. Apparently, whoever or whatever. Who gives this guy fucking jokes? Appears to have no face and seems to lack movement, which gives the impression of being dead. Yet, even more scary is that it suddenly disappears as soon as the camera pans back to the window. It's weird. Now that's creepy. But of course, what do you think, ghost or not? It's weird. I'll let you it's have the thing. final say. What exactly was captured in this footage? Ghost bear. Oh, he's here to play some music. If you he caught wants something to, creepy, let's play some camera, love joy. Or if there's any ghost videos you'd like me to check out and include in the next compilation, you can send them over to scaryvideos444 at gmail.com. Thank you. That being said, Thank let's you. get Thank back you. to the video. One. A child is woken up late at night. And oh, I forgot about the flying baby, Connor. 
Oh, he ate too many pants, man. He ate too many. He ate pants too close to the fucking crotch. I don't know. Does something that has left its parents completely disturbed. This footage was taken in the middle of the night when all of a sudden this happens. Six months, let's go love you, man. Wait. I am painting you something for the Glasgow live show. See you then, laughing face. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you, Monarch. Appreciate it. Hope to see you guys. Equally, any of you, if you want to buy tickets to the tour. Anyway, I'm... Oh, bless him. It's very Somehow. weird, but I'm not necessarily like, he's possessed. I'm like, he's a fucking baby doing shit. I don't know. Like, man, it's, it's, it's weird. Babies don't generally be doing that shit, but also like, uh, I mean, I don't know if it means he's got a ghost in him. It's the kinda, child, you know. I could be the Holy Spirit. I could be like the power of fucking Jesus. Uh, you know, you can believe what you want. You can say there was a demon, but like maybe the power of Jesus gave him that. Maybe, maybe he's, the, he's like the second coming of Christ. Who knows, you know? Watch it one more time. This footage was taken in the middle of the night when all of the- This is weird, baby. Shouldn't be doing that. Yeah, but I'm not like thrown off. Happens. I don't know. He switched to creative. <laughs> <laughs> him standing dead around going, yeah, yeah! <laughs> This is like a second he's like, ah, ah! And that, that, that is quite funny though. That is quite funny, I like that. <laughs> Get this dude his mama now! Get this boy his mama now! You do not fuck with this boy. Also, what's he gonna drill? What's Connor need a drill for? Is he trying to get the drill? He's going after the drill? Is that what he needs? Some Man, that's just the power of breast milk, I think. I think that's just a boy hungering for the teat, you know? He got that he got that midnight craving. He wants a midnight snack. I think that's all uh, I think that's that, that's all that's happening here. He got himself perfectly to breast height. Look at him. He's a perfect breast breast sucking height. I think he just wants some milk, I think. That's my diagnosis. I don't think he's possessed. I think the only thing he's possessed by is that want to feed, you know? That hunger. He's got that deep set hunger. He just wants he's just getting up there. He's climbed up. He's 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 poised himself. He's poised himself. And he's like, mommy, you know, he just wants you know to feed. It's all. He's just hungry. He wants some some milk. This is the power of breastfeeding, man. The reason most kids can't do that is because of the, the, that alternative shit. That powder, you know, that, 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 that shit you can get at stores. That, hey, that's like, like the equivalent of like everyone drinking oat milk, you know? <laughs> oat milk, it made everyone... <laughs> They're all drinking oat and soy milk and it made them all liberal. And this is... This is a <laughs> I can't even... I can't even fucking keep going. This is what real milk does to a baby. You know, I can climb shit. He can scale fucking walls. Uh, <laughs> this, is <that laughs> this is that. This is that. This is that baby that drinks that real dairy. You know, that real stuff, real shit that comes straight from the teat. Not all that powder. Not all that substitute milk. <laughs> oh, oh. There's someone that believes that out there. There's someone that sees that, like, 
as gen as generations go on and on, we get generally more liberal, and they're, they're gonna associate that with. <laughs> the increased consumption of milk alternatives. There's someone out there that believes it. I, I'm so wholeheartedly convinced there's some Republican that sat there out in Florida and he sat there and he's, he's like, he's drinking all that soy milk that's turning everybody into snowflakes. <laughs> Biden only got into office because of big soy. He exists, man. That guy exists. Tucker Carlson. <laughs> oh, it exists, man. It exists. There's someone. Uh, it might be Alex Jones, but but someone out there, someone out there believes in that shit. <laughs> Like, like, there's an increase in LGBTQ, like, people because they drink more, like, oat milk. <laughs> Someone's correlating them, man. Oh, what, what else? Uh, you know what? Actually, I'm, I'm fucking Googling it. Um, milk alternatives uh, lead to more... What are we trying to say? What's the word? There's got to be someone. What, what, what's the word for it? Liberals. Liberals. More young- <laughs> It exists! It exists! It exists! It's real! I, I found it, I found it, I found it! More young liberal Americans identify as vegan or vegetarian. And then there's another article saying how conservatives eat more milk and dairy than, like, your average person. <laughs> it's the food! It's the food! It's the, it's the fucking alternative milk industry! It's turning everyone liberal! And fucking, you know, the, all, all, the, the, all the dairy farms are turning everyone into fucking Trump supporters. It's real! It's real! <laughs> Wait, what was so it? But you're more young liberal Americans identify as vegan or vegetarian than any other group. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> I fucking love I love people, man. They just make shit up and run with it. And like they just try and convince as many other people as possible that they're that they're right. It's the world's greatest like thing. Oh, God. Right. Okay. Okay, we'll get back to the ghost. We'll get back to the ghost. Sorry. Oh. So, viewers believe no that it's, it's a perfect balance. Happy as anniversary. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you for the 40 months. It reaches out towards something. Viewers believe that it's reaching out to a paranormal entity inside the room. Whether it's malicious or not- I think he's just trying to balance, to be fair, mate. It's stood on a fucking beam. ...is unknown, but given the dangerous situation the child is in, some believe that a sinister presence ah! is responsible a sinister for the presence! behavior. Although we don't know for sure if it's something paranormal, the piercing scream of the child is without a doubt pretty chilling. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a creepy video. I can't, the video, I can't deny that, the though. Itself it's creepy. Is enough for us to know that what happened that night is beyond strange. Yes, like with most I videos, agree. I agree. This one has yet to be explained. It's a baby Let doing shit. You think about this it's one. weird, though. I'll give you that. He's reaching out for his mama. Thanks Come for watching, now. and I hope you. He's reaching out because he's hungry. What's that midnight snack? Oh, I didn't put all the subtitles for this one. My bad. We'll have them on for the next one. All right, we got through that one quick. We usually get like it usually takes us like an hour to get through one video, but we got through that pretty quick. Let's watch another one then. Um. Don't watch, all right? Guess we won't be watching that one. Um, I really like when you see it. <laughs> Let's watch 52 from a year ago. Because it says, when you see it. And I fucking love that. Ugh. Watch it. Well, you do want me to watch. You're telling me you want me to watch the one that has strictly told me not to watch it. 
17 months. We we can, but I just want to make absolute, you know, complete certainty. Yeah, all right. You guys are fucking, of course, contrarians. This is all the oat milk you drink. <laughs> A very concerned parent had posted the following video in the hopes that someone could explain the footage. In it, a child is seen playing in their <laughs> British people video in the hopes <laughs> he turned Brit <laughs> he turned British for the intro. A very concerned parent had posted the following video in the hopes that someone could explain the footage. In it, <laughs> he's British now. Fuck's sake. Oh God. All right, let's carry on watching. A child is seen playing in their crib when suddenly <laughs> something true. The, the word crib just fucking amused me because like, I'm thinking like MTV cribs. Like, this, this is the kid's crib. Like, welcome to the crib. Truly really terrifying is caught on camera. Oh, uh, okay. Now, according to the parents, ever since playing with the Ouija board that they bought at a yard sale, strange things have been happening. No! No! You attracted bad spirits with the bad spirit board? No! Oh my god. Anyone who uses a Ouija board is dumb as shit, right? Like, like, I'm sorry. I, look, I know I can be very skeptical on these streams. I am skeptical, but I do genuinely believe- I, I think, if I'm, if I'm honest, I do believe in ghosts. I've had experiences that are very weird. I've captured one of them on stream. I've had weird ghost experiences. I'm only skeptical because I think a lot of people try and fake it because it's easy views. I'm skeptical of videos. I'm not skeptical of the idea of ghosts. Well, I, I am a little bit, but like, you know, healthily. But from what I understand of Ouija boards, even if, right, the, 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 this is the thing. There's, 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 there is one, there are two reasons to use Ouija boards, okay? One, you believe in ghosts and you want to speak to them. Two, you don't believe in ghosts and you want to use one to prove that it doesn't fucking work. Okay. Now, Ouija boards, supposedly, well, pretty much, uh, they, they attract badness. I don't quite understand the logic or reason, but I, I know plenty of people who are very into this whole thing, and they always are like, do not use re Ouija boards. There are safer ways to communicate with spirits. Those things are fucking bad news, bro. All right? They just apparently are bad news. They aren't good, but if you use one, you have to be careful. Fine. But either way. But either way. This is what I'm saying. Either you believe in ghosts, which means therefore you believe that this is real, and therefore you believe that they really are dangerous, and therefore you're putting yourself in real danger, or you don't believe, in which case, what's the fucking point of risking it? Because you don't believe anyway. So it's like you're just playing around with a potentially dangerous bit of wood. Like, if someone gave me a piece of wood and went, look, I don't personally believe that this wood can do anything. There's no logical reason this wood can kill people. But there are reports that say this wood kills people. I'd be like, all right, keep the wood away from me then. You're probably right, but what's the fucking point of going near the woods? You know? The point of going near the woods! So, yeah, that's, that's, my, that's my Ouija board opinion. I just think anyone who plays around with them, dumb as shit. Asians, their son would stare at an empty space as though something was there, and then suddenly cry out of nowhere. The strangest incident, however, may just be the following video. It may be. It's late at night when the following is caught on camera. Take a look. What's going on, wee lad? You right, pal? What are you doing? All right. Ooh. Did she fucking shake that baby spike. at the end? 
Yeah, shake that fucking baby! It went at the fucking end there. So someone said earthquake. That's like a, a weird way for an earthquake to be. But maybe. But like, what I find weird is the noises that come prior. Like there's like a... You know? It's weird. Noise is heard in... I'm just not... It's weird. It's weird. Epilepsy? What? What? Either way, um... I don't know. I'm a little bit, like, off-put by that. Really hurt. Who's fucking next door? Who's fucking with just one big thrust? They do one big thrust, that is a one-and-done kind of guy that is like... They charge it up from across the room, they fucking sprint. Kind of... Come on now. I've shown you guys the big bruise on my arm, right? It fucking hurts. I just banging the table then really hurt. Got my my arm bruise. Look, I got. It's getting wor It looks worse nowadays. I got punched straight in the bicep. No, yeah, I showed you guys. I got punched in the bicep while boxing, uh, and it it's bruised really bad. And it, but like, the bruise isn't what hurts so much. It's like the muscle itself is really, really like sore now. And so I have to be careful because I've got a fight. I've got a fight, a man, in how many days? 7, 14, 21, uh, 28, 29, 30, 31. And it, that doesn't add up. Let's go again. Uh, oh, because I did it from there for some fucking stupid reason. Right. Um, 7... Uh, 14. Uh, 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 what comes after 14? 21. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. 26 days I've got to batter a man. 26 days I'm going to punch a man in the head for all of you to watch. Please do watch it at thecreatorclash.com. Buy your tickets now because I'm going to punch a man upside the head. Who's the man? Dakota Alave. He looks like Ninja. D Dakota. Dakota Olave. <clears throat> here, here, here's the here's the here's the here's the guy. He looks like Ninja from Fortnite. He looks like Ninja. From <laughs> Oh, rest in peace, bro. I'm sorry. You Google him and I show up. I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean to take up your uh, Google Google space. That's my bad. That's my bad. I didn't mean to take up bro's Google space. Yeah. Yikes. My bad. My bad. Uh. Okay. Let's just... Uh, Quickly double check. He's not taking up my. YouTube. If he's taking up my Google space, that'll be. Oh, that, that would be pretty embarrassing. Now I've laughed at him for. Uh, nah, okay. He's nowhere to be seen. I googled myself. Good. Whew. Either way, I will be beating him. <laughs> Ninja from week <laughs> weekday. Inside the child's room, it seems to come out of nowhere. Yet sounds very close to the child. But even weirder is the fact that the camera glitches whenever it screeches. It's almost it does, as though actually. the presence that. of whatever this might be is so strong that it messes with the frequency of the camera. Then again, it is often the case that people hack into these cameras. Perhaps this might be an instance of that. How often is that the case? I don't feel like that's that often. I, I feel like that happens occasionally. But that doesn't explain how the camera shook whenever a loud banging noise occurred. The parents believe that whatever was making that noise must be the supposed paranormal entity that is haunting their child. Now there's not much info given on this clip, so forming a solid opinion might be hard to do. But nevertheless, it's up to you to decide if the video is real or not. Very weird. Just what exactly- Happens pretty often. Damn. 
I don't really mind so much. I, I feel like most of my life is on the internet anyway. There's not very much you can find out through hacking. My, you know, I'm not... Sorry, but when I say I don't really mind, don't do it, please. I'd rather no one hacks my webcam. What I more mean is like, it's one of those fears that I used to have when I was growing up. I used to be really scared about someone hacking my webcam. And I got older and I was like, oh, you know what? Well, they're going to see my dick and balls. Okay. <laughs> you know? Uh, I kind of like one day went, you know. But I, I'd still prefer people didn't do it. Exactly had occurred that night. Feel free to let me know what you think down below. For the last six months, Matthew Waynes has been experiencing scary happenings. Matthew Waynes, our guy, Matthew Waynes, we know this guy. <laughs> he said it as if like he's a guy I know. You know Matthew Waynes? Well, he's been experiencing this thing. I was like, oh, okay. Why is everyone side eyeing? Why is everyone saying side eye? What? Hey Jack, wanna hear a scary story? Sure. Found out my, my dad is transphobic and guess I am trans as hell eek. Anyway, just wanted to say you look very. I don't like that scary story as much as I favorite. thought I would, but that that is a bit scary. I hope I hope that that turns out okay. Some people aren't as as sort of violently, uh, you know. Some people can be be uh, convinced the other way, and I hope that that is the in, in your case, you know. Anyway, why is everyone saying side eye? I don't get it. Criminal offense side what? Why is everyone saying criminal offensive side? I don't get it. Uh, what's? I don't get it. Liz does game. Thank you. I'm I'm moving on. I don't know what it is. It's in his house. Every so often, he would hear what sounds like clicking noises and whispers that seem to come out of nowhere. Matthew knows that it's best to ignore these sounds, as people have told him that these odd occurrences would stop if he didn't give them any attention. Okay. But, as of recent, Matthew can no longer ignore these noises. He notices that each time they occur, he gets more scared, and the more terrified he gets, the more persistent these noises become. Oh. It's almost as though these noises on his fear. are feeding off his fear. Ah, oh, that's what I said. Because of this, Matthew has been documenting these odd occurrences for the sole purpose of getting help. For his YouTube channel, Marble Hornets. So one night, while watching TV, he begins to hear the strange noises. He takes out his phone and begins to record. But what happens next has left him shook. <laughs> this is shook. Really captured. He's shook. Okay. 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 So I'm just sat here. He's British, I trust him. Abby, thank you for the one. I said that we're going to start trying to document it. I've been trying to watch this. Literally. Oh, myself, it's literally just the corner of the sofa. Um, trying to watch this, I swear to God I can hear, like, whispering... That noise. Right, I'm gonna listen for a minute. Right. <clears throat> it is weird, but also like I hate doing this. I don't know why I've decided to do this. So I'm start just trying to watch TV. Right. I swear I just keep hearing whispering. About about ten minutes ago, I just heard like three really loud, loud. Isn't that the same noise every time, though? Right. Okay. I'm gonna flip it because nobody wants to see my ugly face, and I'm gonna. Oh no! You're a handsome guy. Don't be like that, bro. See if anyone else can hear it. You don't have to listen closely to hear what sounds like someone or something breathing <sighs> heavily in the background. It is heard close to me. Fucking like phasmophobia noise though. Matthew, as though it was right next to him. And to make things even more creepy, a bit of whispering can be heard in the footage. Where? Clearly, Matthew was beyond terrified. I but can. on the bright side of things, he's now getting the support and help. Contact your local spiritualist church. And don't usually charge. Which fucking evil church is charging for that service? Sage it. Ask the spirits to help get all at... Oh, it sounds like something's struggling to breathe. 
Sometimes that's spread breathing. I've heard the same thing in my ear a few years back. So I suck at you. Go to walk from room to room. Say out loudly to the person here. You've had your time. Please move on and let me. Help. He okay. hoped to I achieve by one. filming this video. Yeah. Ever since then, Matthew states that things have only gotten worse. Jack, you ha used to ha uh, to be able to pay the church to have your loved ones get to heaven. Yeah, but like things like that are just like obviously scams. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I realize you can do church donations and I, I understand that for the sake of charity, that's quite good. But like, if, if they're offering just like, pay to get into heaven, a thousand dollars to get into heaven. That's all it takes. God is looking for one payment of a thousand dollars to get into heaven. No, it's not happening. The activity continues and he doesn't know what to do. For now, he is staying at his family's home until things settle down. Aye, I would. Like with most videos, the question is begged. What exactly is going on inside this house? Unfortunately, it seems that we won't know for sure until more footage is posted. <laughs> that was weird, but I, I'm not... My mother is going through... My, the only reason I'm com like, a little bit convinced is because he seemed very scared. You know. If he didn't seem as scared, I wouldn't... Oh, I've got hiccups. He didn't seem as scared, I wouldn't be at all convinced. But he did seem very scared. Fuck me! You're last. Thank you for Wish the Wish I could stay longer, but need to work on a lab report. Thanks That's for okay. Being Go cool. save the world your from... Your streams always cheer me up. Germs or whatever. I don't know what you're doing in your lab. Are you making meth? Making meth? Is this Walter White? Walter... Put your dick away, Walter. I'm not having sex with you, Walter. I'm not having sex with you, Walter. <laughs> Walter. <laughs> oh, I love Breaking Bad. I'm I'm nearly finished with it now, and now I'm gonna start watching Better Call Saul. It's really good. Breaking Bad's been really good. Hey, oh, God. I can't wait till I don't have to box anymore so I have a bit more energy for streams. Streams are going to get very good after boxing, I think. At the moment, I just kind of have to come up with the best idea I can like manage because my energy levels are very... You know, I'm, that's how I'm feeling at the moment. Either way, I still got to make my money. People, it is the top of the hour and you know what that means. It means I have to run a minute long ad and I wish there was a way around it, but there isn't because at the end of the day, people, it greatly supports the stream and it makes it all worth my while. Because at the end of the day, I appreciate that not everyone can afford to subscribe. Not everyone has Twitch Prime. Not everyone can do this, but everybody, if they're watching this stream right now, has a spare minute to watch some advertisements. You can go drink some water. You can go pee. You can go do whatever, but please do not leave the stream. Please just sit around. The content will resume immediately, straight after a minute. And if you do want to avoid them for whatever reason, just like Chirp Trip with their Prime, you can subscribe with Prime for completely free. If you click subscribe and check if you have the Prime option now, or you can pay the low, low fee of $4.99, $3.99 in Great British Pounds, and you will avoid all the ads for the next 30 days, which makes it very worthwhile as I will be streaming a decent amount during that period, uh, as you can imagine. Maybe not as much as usual, I must admit, because I am going to be the boxing man uh, and I might slowly start resting up before the fight because I want to be tip top condition but I'll still be streaming a decent amount. Either way, I'm going to run the ad now and then uh, I'll be back right afterwards. See you guys in a sec. Hello, guys. The ad is running. How are you guys feeling? I'm going to have a quick sip of... Just make the uh, mouth a little bit less dry. I'm just going to check my phone because uh, I'm expected. I'm expected at, you know, a location soon. As I often am. I often am. I'm a very w w wanted man. Not for crimes, just for like general social events. <laughs> How's everyone though? Oh, my leg hurts. I had a good sparring session today. I sparred today. I fought a guy. As you can maybe tell by my nose. My nose looks a little bit bruised, I think. 
That or my nose. Do you think the shape of my nose is different from when I started boxing seven months ago? Because I'm slightly concerned that like my nose is going to be permanently malformed. What do you think? Welcome back from the ads. I'm asking the chat whether my uh, nose looks different. And my side profile. Do you think it looks weird? Yes. A bit, yes. Is it bad? Broken it, maybe? I've always had a little bit of a hump here, but I'm thinking it might be worse. But it is kind of swollen at the moment. Like, it's quite, it's quite tender right now. Like, if I touch it. Oh, it is. Did you get a punch? I did, but I'm trying to see if it, like, is bruised or whether that's just, like, shadowing because the lighting's coming direct. And I'm like, I've made the bump in my nose that profound that it, like, actually shadows a bit. Yeah, I'm a bit, like... I don't remember me having such a pro pronounced dip in my nose there. That's, you know, I mean, it's not the end of the world, but I, yeah, I, I think it used to be a little bit like more straight down. Yeah. Either way, it doesn't really matter. Um, it might be a bit, I think it is a little bit swollen. It, it feels tender. Either way. Let's carry on with the uh, washing ghosts. We don't have to talk about my nose shape for much longer, do we? Right. Let's get back to it. You look tired. I'm a little bit tired. I, I just, I, I, you know what it is? Genuinely, I'm, I'm, I, I have to gain weight for my fight, right? So I've been trying to eat big meals and then I'm exercising a lot. So what I'm essentially doing is doing lots of physical activity and eating lots of food. And that, in my experience, makes you really sleepy. Um, so I'm just kind of at the moment very like, you know, I, I, but I want to like, I want to stream still because I enjoy it. So, you know, but that means I, I the streams might just be a little bit dialed back up until the fight, but we've, we've got, we've got 26 days. Uh, and to be fair, I'm going back home this weekend to Mansfield for a few days. So I'll probably have a bit more energy there because I usually recoup a little bit, uh, but I might not be streaming much because it's for birthdays. That I'm going back. Whatever, yeah, I'm, we ain't here for updates. People got ghosts they want to see. <clears throat> and then I'm, I, we might play some Sonic Mania tonight because I'm feeling it, you know. Child's pile of toys. My lord, when she loud, finds a toy loud. camera. Camera, The cool. mother states that she had bought the camera for her daughter, but unbeknownst you would imagine. to the mother... That or she's embarrassed and she really bought it for herself. Let's be real. The camera contains a chilling photo that her daughter had taken. Ooh, to this day, fun. This photo chills her to the core. That's cool. In this video, she shows us what was captured. Take a look. That's kind of interesting. So I got my daughter this camera from Amazon for Christmas. She's three, almost four. Um, we're just hanging out at home today by ourselves. My husband's at work. She's been telling us she's been seeing somebody in her room. Um, that she can't really sleep well. She refuses to sleep in there. We just moved to this house. Mm. Um, I never set the date or time on this camera because it was just like a little play camera. So she would quit taking her phones and taking pictures of herself because she's at that age right now. So um, we just like never set the time. So she just took a picture and she says, Mommy, look, there's a man in the photo. I said, what? She said, there's a man in my photo. And I went like that real quick. Like, just this just happened just like five minutes ago. Like, no one else is here. It's just us. Like, I'm going to have to change the date and time so I can get more pictures for y'all. But look at that. In this new house, she says she's been seeing people. Weird. There appears to be a shadowy figure inside the family's house. That's weird. I can't really quite the see it, bomb. but it is. If she's been complaining about seeing shit and then takes... It's a very believable sort of story, right? Like, kid says she's seeing shit in a room, then uses a little fucking kitty cam, and, like, it's like, oh, shit, like, you can see something like that. Eves, that is this weird. This may have been the man that her daughter sees. You'd imagine. But the fact that she's never seen this man herself, except in this photo, makes her think that something supernatural is haunting her daughter. Mm -hmm. But, of course, it's not sure if that's the case. Yet it seems that most viewers believe this is genuine evidence of something otherworldly. But, as with all it videos, is weird. you be the judge. I'm ghost judging that it, yeah, not. it could be a ghost. You that is weird. Know. That is weird. Very weird. The name of the pick file is this pick zero zero. Oh, is it? Is wait, hold videos. on. You be the judge. Something otherworldly. Ah, uh, okay. That that viewer raises a very good point. That is the first picture ever taken on that camera, which mm, you know. 
not particularly anything like too crazy, but a little bit sus. Kind of feels like maybe you bought it just to take the pick. Ah, yeah, it's a little bit. I'm not. I'm not writing it off because of it, but it's worth. Thank you for pointing that out. Cause it's very. It's a little bit sus. Lee, but as with all videos, you be the judge. They literally Go said it was the first. Oh, did they? Oh wait, wait, hold on. Used to be a shadowy. F and taking a date or time on this camera because it's the sleep almost so I shows us what was Kay. This the camera contains a chilling photo that her daughter for her deal of toys. When she okay. finds a toy camera, the mother states that she had bought the camera for her daughter, Ooh. but unbeknownst to the mother, the camera contains this a chilling photo with. that her daughter had taken. To this day, this photo chills this is, her to the core. Maybe the, uh, okay. in this video, she shows us what was captured. Take a look. So I got my daughter this camera from Amazon for Christmas. She's three, almost four. Mm -hmm. um, we're just hanging out at home today by ourselves. My husband's at work. She's been telling us she's been seeing somebody in her room um, that she can't really. So it's, she got it her for Christmas. When, when well. was this she filmed? Refuses this to curious. sleep in there. We just moved to this house. Um, I never set the date or time on this camera because it was just like a little play camera. So she would quit taking her phones and taking pictures of herself because she's at that age right now. So um, we just, like never set the time so she just took a picture and she says mommy look there's a man in the photo i said what she doesn't necessarily she, in my photo. she doesn't necessarily say it was the and, first one um, went like that real quick like just this just happened just like five minutes ago like no one else is here it's just us like i'm gonna have to change the date and time so i can get more pictures for she keeps stressing the date and times i don't know it's a little bit odd it's a little bit odd it's a little bit odd either way Next video, I guess. Oh. Caught wrong button. This next video was submitted to me by a father who caught something pretty creepy on camera. <laughs> Just by a dad. Big, big sort of dad sort of magnet is bizarre. But... Now, the initial purpose of the video was to document a strange occurrence that often happens around 4 p.m. According hmm. to the father, it is at this time when the baby monitor inside his bedroom picks up a strange noise. It's hard to make out the sound that is being made, but whatever the source might be, it definitely sounds creepy. For this reason, the father thought it'd be best to record and share this video. However, little did he know that something far more spooky would be caught on camera. Ooh. The father records the sound when suddenly I'm something else is captured. This is what he caught. You can hear a baby crying. Right, check this out. That's wild. There's this noise coming from the bedroom. Why does he sound like an anime protagonist? Also, that noise is like... Sounds like Squidward walking. Ben Shapiro book? No! Oh! No! <laughs> he owns the Ben Shapiro book! Fuck! We've lost him. We've lost him. The fucking alt-right pipeline has taken him. He's been drinking. He's been drinking dairy and eating meat. Meat. That's it. Real milk and real meat, and it's made him a fucking Republican. Jackson manuscript foldings. And now, thank you. And now Squidward's haunting his house, as we can hear. Big meat got him. Though. Noise coming from the bedroom. And he sounds like an anime protagonist for some reason. <laughs> the weird sound is Mitch McConnell. <laughs> but my wife and my baby, they're, they're not here. They're not in the bedroom. And Ooh. this noise that is weird. happens every day at this exact time. Sounds like a, a baby sucking on a pacifier, right? Yeah, there's no one in there. No one. He sounds like Saikuno. That's what I've realized. Yeah, there's no one in there. A little bit. You know what I mean? No one. Could be a satellite where you, you imply a satellite passes over his house every day like that.
someone's saying it could be like a satellite, like a satellite, because there are some satellites I believe that or, like have a twenty four hour orbital period. And are you suggesting that a satellite comes directly over his house and interferes with his baby monitor? That could maybe happen. That could maybe happen. I think. A satellite with 24-hour orbital period. A geostationary satellite orbits the Earth in 24 hours along an orbital path that is parallel to an imaginary plane. Yeah, yeah, so it could be a geost... No, 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 it can't be, actually. It can't be geostationary. Because then th th what happens there is it orbits at the same pace that the Earth spins. Hmm. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Satellite that goes around the world once every 24 hours. No. No, that's not what I'm asking about. I'm not thinking geosynchronous. Like it, it like, I'm not sure. Ooh. The satellites can't do that. They can't do that. They can't. Ben Shapiro. All of a sudden, the closet door opens on its own. String can do that. You're right, you are. It opens wide enough, showing no one inside. Understandably, the father stands up in total shock, as he just caught something that may just prove his belief. According to him, the strange noises have nothing to do with frequency interference, but more to do- It's Ben. With he wants you to join him in buying things from fucking <laughs> Best Buy. Was it Best Buy where he like bought a plank of wood in protest? He just like puts, he's like holding a plank of wood with a carrier back on the end. Oh no, it was Home Depot, right? Was it Home Depot? It was Home Depot. That was it. Is it like, uh, let me fucking find it. It's a video of Ben Shapiro. Uh, there was like a, a, a period, and I don't quite remember why, but there was some political issue with Home, De uh, Home Depot and Ben Shapiro was supporting them because I, I guess they, they were on the wrong side of history. Uh, and, and Ben Shapiro was like supporting them and shit. And he's like, to show your report, support for American businesses, please go to Home Depot and buy anything. Buy anything from Home Depot. And then he's like, he goes and he buys, he like, it's like an Instagram story, he's like outside. And then there's like another story and he has a plank of wood in his hand. And, but with like a Best Buy carrier bag on the end. Like it so clearly doesn't fit in the bag, but I guess he wanted to prove that he'd bought it. So it's like, it's just like got a carrier bag like wedged on the end. He's like, I have just bought this fine piece of timber from Home Depot. It, it's, uh, let me find it. Ben Shapiro is one of my favorite videos. Home Depot. No, it's like a fucking Skyrim edit. Oh yeah, here it is. <laughs> so fucking funny. This is what's haunting him. He's this. This is the exact ghost that's haunting him. Home Depot, as you know, controversy has now involved Home Depot as people are encouraging people to boycott Home Depot because Home Depot is not getting involved in Georgia's voter law controversy. Home Depot is doing exactly the right thing because, after all, they are in fact Home Depot. They are not in fact in the business of politics because you should be buying from companies that are not falling to the woke left. Home Depot, so far. Is <laughs> one of those companies so here's what we're doing i encourage you to do the same i'm gonna go in there i'm gonna buy some stuff and then i'm gonna leave <laughs> goofy transition all right as you can see <laughs> shopping at home depot you should do this he's bought he's like you should go in there buy some stuff he's bought a singular plank of wood that he like so obviously is never gonna fucking use he doesn't buy anything of worth. He buys a singular piece of wood. It's this like weird act of protest against the liberal woke left with a fucking bag on the end. Same. This wood, this board, this magnificent piece of poplar is now mine. <laughs> this board, this wood, this magnificent piece of is now mine. Something paranormal. <laughs> fucking nerd. <laughs> It's one of my favorite videos. He's buying a single plank of fucking wood. Oh, Christ on a bike. I fucking love it. Oh.
God almighty. Right. He believes that whatever opened the door was responsible for the sounds that were picked up by the monitor. He can't be real. That literally sounds like a shit post. That's why it's so good. Whether ghost or not, the father is definitely creeped out by this. He further adds that he'll continue to document more of these strange occurrences. But until then, this video stands to be the creepiest encounter he's had. But as always, what are your thoughts on this? It's weird. Could this be evidence of something paranormal? Or did something else occur? It's weird. It's weird. I don't know what to say. It's weird. <laughs> There's a photo on Twitter that's currently trending. However, <laughs> it isn't trending. <laughs> Breaking news! <laughs> It's just like a fucking picture of George not found. It's a completely unrelated. Like, like I just open Twitter right now and like fucking like goggy trending. I was trying to do a joke. I was trying to do a fucking joke and I opened Twitter and the first thing I saw was fucking George not found trending. Fuck's sake! Let me open it. If there's a fucking picture, I'll scream. Ah! Oh my god. Of course. Of course, but of course. But of course. <laughs> Gotta do 10 push-ups now. If my arm wasn't injured, I would, but it's fucking... Hurt yet? I've got a fight soon, so I can't get injured. Sorry. <laughs> Ugh. Whatever. For the reason you're probably thinking. Oh, not for the reason we're probably thinking. So not George not found. Question isn't a pic posted by a celebrity or anything mainstream in general, but rather an ordinary image from someone with a very small following. Which the means it's believable. Appears to be normal until you look closely and realize that the image isn't ordinary at all. Not the actual it's image. Dead. Oh. Something beyond that and realize that the image isn't ordinary at all, but instead, something beyond that. That freaked me out a bit. On August 3rd of 2022, Twitter user Natalina posted an image on their account that has left many people disturbed. Dude, she didn't realize what? what she had captured until a friend of hers had seen the pic and told her about it. In a text conversation had with someone else, Natalina- Fucking iPhone 3G. <laughs> explains a photo. She writes, Hello, Adam. I went to take some pictures of my house that was under renovation last year. It's from my late father. I had taken the photos in November, and that was it. Recently, I sent the same photo I took in November to, Wait, hello. Some pictures of my house. to a friend of mine, and he was like, what the f bro? Because he zoomed in, and this just popped up. I doubt it just popped up. Okay. Picture. Picture normal. Oh yeah, no, it does look like there's a silhouette behind her. At In first... this picture, I was alone, and there was no one behind me. Behind Natalina, a solid shadow-like figure... I mean, it could be a shadow, but I don't think so. ...can be seen standing behind her. It stands only a couple feet away from Natalina while being hunched over... Yeah, it doesn't connect to her in any way. It's a bit odd. ...the other way as though it's trying its best not to be seen. Although it's not clear as to what was captured, Natalina can't help but feel that a ghost or some other supernatural entity was caught on camera. Most viewers seem to agree with her, adding that perhaps this may have been her deceased father, who she mentions in the text conversation. Yeah? Yet, like most comments, it is solely a belief and nothing certain. Of course. But what do you think? Did Natalina yeah, actually capture the ghost of her deceased father who once lived in this house? Or was something else captured? It is weird. If you caught something creepy on I thought camera, it was a shadow at first, or if there's any odd. ghost videos you'd like me to check out and include in the next compilation, you can- So, you know what I want to know? Um, look. I don't want to accuse anyone of being weird. If I sent my friend a bunch of pictures of houses, why is her fucking friend zooming in on her? Why is he zooming in on her? It's like, oh, he just zoomed in and then this popped up. Why was he doing that? 
in the first instance. Because from here, I don't know about you, but there's no, like, to me, that just looks like a shadow from here. There's no reason in my mind to zoom in on her from here. I just... I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying. In this final clip, a man is woken up by a mysterious noise when something pretty terrifying is caught on camera. This video was posted about nine months ago. Yeah, but that's the fucking house, no wonder. The person who recorded this states that while spending the night inside his aunt's house, which is very old, unusual events took place. The following is the video he took. Okay. I'm still hearing voices. Listen. Jesus Christ. Hi. Very clearly, that guy. What the fuck? child's voice is heard close to the camera naturally the person recording fled from the room and went straight to his i wish they'd let him speak though because i'm like that was very clear he was what like i want to know now you know car. that's weird though weird video after hearing the whispers not much else is known about the video which makes it even more creepy but doubtless the weird. video itself is scary alone weird weird video I mean, potentially faked, easily faked, but but weird. Thanks. You know what's weird to me? I've heard whisperings, disembodied whisperings in my life. Um, once in a room full of people, we all heard it. So, you know, it wasn't just me. But it's always kids, in my experience. I have three times potentially, only once for absolute fucking certain, heard, mm, sorry, no. Twice, I'm pretty damn sure. Two times, I'm not so sure about, so four times, sorry. Heard disembodied voices, right? In my life. The one I captured on stream that time, one that I'm not going to tell the story of just now. And then two that I've told the stories of before they're quite long. But um, that I was kind of half asleep in them both. So I kind of potentially, I believe I could have been like, dreaming a little bit. But in three of those four, it's always like the, the one of them was so distinctly a little girl saying hello in a room. So clear as day, like, like weird. That happened to me once. Uh, and then the one on, but the one I captured on stream sounded more like an adult lady. And I'm just curious. Part of me is like, I wonder if ghosts have like some weird, like sort of like r rule set for themselves. And like, they're not supposed to speak to people and the kids just don't really get it. So they kind of like, they don't follow the rules, but like, I suppose you would be more on edge. This is like an adult lady. You can hear when you hear noises. You know what I mean? That's like, that's, you know, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Noises. You know what I mean? That's so weird. I suppose you would be more on edge when you hear noises. You know what I mean? This is still so fucking weird. You would be more on edge when you hear noises. You know what I mean? What gets me is it sounds a little bit like, you know what weirds me out? 
you know what always just freaks me out of touch is is the fact that although it doesn't although it doesn't how ironic is it that you're talking about hearing noises yeah that's really weird but um what really what really like throws me off is because i initially assumed it was ellie saying that from the other room because it sounded to me like it came from her bedroom and i was like weird and that's why i start sit there and wait for a second because i figured if she needed help she'd shout again um but then i did get up after this clip and then she sat completely on the other side of the apartment with her headphones in just doing some work and i don't like the fact that to me it it, it sounds slightly like it's mimicking ellie like it doesn't sound like her enough at all but almost it was enough for me in the moment to go i mean but then again she was the only other person in the house so of course i'm gonna assume it's her but in the moment i was like that could have been her oh it was the whole thing you hear noises you know what i mean it doesn't sound that much like her but just 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 you know it sounds a little bit northern english which is you know enough you didn't help it well no how how, how? But it sounded to me like it came from her bedroom. But she was nowhere near the bedroom. She was all the way on the other side of the apartment. So if it was her, you didn't get up to help her. No, I did. Did people not listen to the story? <laughs> hey, I need your help or Jack, I need your help. I don't know, it's weird. Very weird. Freaks me out still now, thinking about it. And this was how many months ago now? It was in January, so it was two months ago weird though <laughs> sorry uh, i opened twitter to pull up the clip and then as i was going away i saw this and it says i like this carnivore diet guy on tiktok whose face is so clear whose diet is so clearly killing him that his face is like seven different colors now i'm like oh god it really is He's like yellow at the top. He's like red in the middle. God almighty, that, that diet does not look like it's suiting him. Either way. Oh, we finished the video. Shit. We closed it out. We closed it out. Please ignore the fact that most of my recommended is ghost videos, but then the only other thing in there is Sonic videos. I'm really, I'm on my Sonic craze right now. I love Sonic right now. I'm a big Sonic guy. Everyone, someone keeps saying, dear David, what is that? Oh, just that that fucking creepy pasta. Yeah, no. I I remember that from when I was younger. It was it was silly. A very no offense, but it was really silly. <laughs> I don't really fully remember it, but I remember it being really silly. Oh, we said we watched uh, Life of Luxury, didn't I? Holy noise! Jesus Christ! Salmon Colby, Salmon Colby's videos are so long though, bro. One day though. Let's watch, let's watch, um... Please, please don't tell me put a fucking raise to Shadow Legends sponsorship in this. Let's, let's watch some Life of Luxury. And then I think maybe we'll play some Sonic Mania, because I'm, I'm, I'm feeling some Sonic Mania. I want to play it, I'm sorry. My bad, but I want to play Sonic Mania. Your little brother was in some type of accident? He's always hungry. Tommy in it! <laughs> Tommy in it! Holy shit, this is the episode we should have walked. Watched. He was burning in the hole, and it looked like a person. What's he doing? Bro, I went into Billy's room earlier. He was literally chained to the wall like an animal. Do you know how disgusting that is? <laughs> Yo, Tommy freaking out right now. He is Tommy and it's going fucking crazy today. It's kind of these videos. Oh, whatever. Hello, 
Lux Army. First off, thank you so much for six million subs. It's You're welcome, you man. Guys love these videos. I do. So smash that subscribe button if you want more. I won't Let's be. One hundred thousand likes for the next episode to be released. So for this episode, we received an email from a girl named Debbie who lives with her two brothers. Debbie says that recently. <laughs> fucking typos. I love how silly it is, man. I fucking love it. Brother... It's a good change of pace from the real ghost videos to this. Billy was in an accident that has caused her. Horrific changes to his body and physical appearance. Okay, but yeah, I love these guys because it like leans on every fucking YouTube horror trope whilst clearly being ironic. It's great. I love it. But yeah, no, we're no more watching. Yeah, well, we can keep the title watching the scariest ghost videos on YouTube. I feel like if you clicked on this, you still would be satisfied with the experience we're about to have. But it, this isn't for real, real life ghost sightings anymore. I, I won't lie to you. But it's nice to have a change of pace. She's also worried that her older brother, Ronnie, isn't giving her younger brother enough food because oh, no. he's always hungry. Debbie also says she's too afraid to be left alone with her younger brother because he drools and stares at her. She sent us this video. Of yeah, that. Yeah, but what if he's just undergone such severe injuries that that's like his capabilities, her you know? brother for proof. <laughs> The little brother like prosthetics are really well done though. <laughs> These are really well done. They're cool as fuck. Now Debbie says that she's too afraid to spend another night in that house alone. So tonight Buy glue stick, think this is the actor they parents. hired to play the but operator first, in Marble Hornets. From our Base. sponsor. What? what? Wait, dude, what are you doing? Where did they get that big glass bowl? Nothing, I've been bored. I, I was trying to source a big glass bowl like that for a very long time. I need to look into where they got that big glass bowl. I need a big glass bowl like that. I don't want to spoil it, but there was a video I wanted to do and I needed it. And the only reason I'm not done it is because I couldn't find a big glass bowl of that sort of size. So, um, if anyone can tell me where they where to get a big glass bowl like that. Let me know. Lately, so I'm taking a cereal bath alone. Well, you should stop doing that nonsense and play Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends? What's that? Raid Shadow Legends is one of the biggest mobile games where I thought you were. I'm okay. I, I need to get paid to show that to the viewers if that's all right. Hello. And this month, Raid's releasing. Never mind. Uh. Dude, there's no reason to be going here. Why do you want to get- I got trolled, I got trolled. He put like a little break in the ad, it, it threw me this off. This girl and her brothers. It's not what I'm trying to do. I'm worried for these kids. Debbie says her older brother might not be taking care of them. But you don't know anything about the situation. Her older brother might be doing the best he can, and he probably won't like us coming to his house. Listen, from what Debbie said in that email, there's something sick going on in that house. And if her I always like how he always wants to be there, and he does not, and it's so- fucking like polarized it's like it's like there's no like nuance it's just like want to be there does not want to be there our older brother is not making sure these kids are okay then we have to bro but that's not our business dude debbie's probably scared he of literally always doesn't want to go and yet he goes every time it baffles me like is he paid or some shit of her mind right now we need to get there before something bad happens whatever whatever driving montage Ooh, creepy road okay we're here to pull over all right dude which one's okay what no idea where that was gonna go you just noticed the among us behind me yeah i have an among us behind me dude this place looks abandoned what the hell whatever let's go see if she's here okay I love how they find an abandoned house, but don't actually film in an abandoned house. They just find one for the exterior and then do like a weird transition into a normal house. Watch. <laughs> Fucking look to camera. Dude, she's not answering. Where is she? I don't know. Should I knock again? Maybe, but... <gasps> 
Wow, this one really got off to a fucking quick start. What the hell is that? What? What's he doing? <laughs> Dude, he's tracking something. He is. Six months. He's very Black observant. Face. Thank you for the uh, prime. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Wild wisteria. Dude, he's coming over here. Hey, oh. Again. Ever observant. What the hell are you two doing? Uh, hi. I'm Parker. This is my friend Chester. We're here for Debbie. Do you know her? Yeah, I know Debbie. She's my sister. What's with the camera? Stop it! Yeah, so we're actually supposed to film something with her. Today. Holy shit! Dude, he's violent and maybe killed a guy. Did you see the way he swung for that camera? Can't stop it! You see, look, look. Watch that, watch that, the end of the swing right there. Yeah, I know, Dabby. She's my sister. What's with the camera? Look at the end of this swing. Stop it! That was powerful. Yes. Yeah, so that was powerful. We're actually supposed to film Already we've captured right? murder and assault. So you're filming me? You've been filming me? Are you filming me back there? Uh, I don't know. Could we come in and ask Debbie some questions? You can ask me. Okay. Bro. No, they are using the abandoned house this time. Last time they didn't. Okay. Thank you for letting us sit down with you. Uh, I'm sorry. What's your name? Ronnie. Ronnie. Hey, Ronnie. Right. Um, I'm assuming you're Debbie's older brother. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's <laughs> nice to. <laughs> the fucking like in. shit, creepy acting's great. Game. Uh, I gotta say, this is a little weird because we were expecting to talk to your sister. Look, I already told you. Anything you were gonna ask her, you can ask me. So what's causing her to be so sick that she can't come out? Cause she didn't listen to me. Ooh, he did like a weird twitch she there. You see that? Involved in situations she shouldn't have. <laughs> Ronnie, try not to be ominous and threatening. Challenge. He cannot say anything. Like he's trying to be ambiguous and not say I hurt her, whilst being the most <laughs> like she got involved in shit she wasn't supposed to. So now she's sick. I had nothing to do with it. Yeah, me. Uh, Ronnie, do you think you could explain that more? No. <laughs> All right, well, Fair. your sister Debbie mentioned to us that your little brother was in some type of accident. What can you tell us about that? Huh? No, she doesn't know what she's talking about. Okay. Yeah, but in the email she sent us, she said that you might be mistreating your little brother and not caring for him. Or feeding him? Listen, he is well cared for and well fed. <laughs> He's fine. <laughs> uh, what? Okay, Seamless cut. that's enough. I feel like I'm being interrogated here. I'm done with these questions. You guys need to go. Listen, I don't want to interrogate you. And I don't want to offend you. We just heard some things from Debbie. And I don't feel comfortable leaving here without checking on your little brother. And making sure he's okay. <laughs> you just want to make sure my... Like, this dude's well within his rights to go, no, leave, weirdo. What? You can't come in and film my little brother, you fucking weirdo. I'm looking after him. Clear off. Who are you? Like, child protective services? Get out of here. Scram! Run! But he's gonna be like, oh, cool. Brother's okay? Yes. <laughs> the fuck? What do you mean Prezzo after doing poppers at the streamer? W what? Did Prezzo do poppers? And is this public knowledge? Who's put- What? Wait, hold on. Let me check Prezzo's Twitter off screen because sometimes he posts some shit he shouldn't. Little late, but how? You see, that, that, that's a penis. It isn't a penis. Oh, no. It's a, it's a thumb that looks a bit like a penis. Where did he mention the poppers? Oh, he, he put Anita smelled the poppers off me. I can't believe it. Oh, he was doing, he, he's even tweeted the picture. He did do the poppers. Guys, he did do the poppers.
Oh my god, Prezzo did do poppers at the stream awards. He is like Ronnie the crackhead. That sucks. Classic Prezzo, man. Classic Prezzo. <laughs> Alright, fine. You guys want to see my little brother? But after that, you gotta leave! Reasonable, okay, reasonable, yeah, reasonable ass. That'd be great. Uh, can we go see him now? <laughs> yeah, okay. Come on. <laughs> Let's go see him. Okay, yeah. <laughs> the fucking look to camera. What's wrong with him? What's wrong with him? Fucking love how he speaks like no one else is. I love how uh, fucking the other guy, the blonde guy, I've forgotten his name already. But uh, he speaks as if no one else can see the things he sees. And no, uh, and no one else is like, he basically speaks as if no one else is there with him. He just announces, did you see that? Like, he's like, he's doing, he's dragging a body. He's coming towards us. And like, what's wrong with him? Like, he asks questions as if the people aren't right there. Chester, thank you. Outside of Billy's room. I think you'll find his name's Tommy. This kid's been through a lot lately. You don't want to do anything that might excite him. Excite him? Okay. What? what do you mean? <laughs> like, he asks as if he's in there. Like, he goes, what's he mean? He doesn't ask him, what do you mean? He asks fucking... Oh, it does my head in. It's funny, though. Billy, are you there? Billy, there's some nice people here who want to see you. I'm going to open the door. I figured the door wasn't going to slam shut again. <laughs> Holy shit, Tommy in it. Hi, are you Billy? My name's Parker. I'm friends with your sister, Debbie. Uh, we just want to make sure you're okay. Is your brother taking good care of you? You need to tell us if you want us to help you. Is your brother giving you enough food? Enough! I don't want to talk to him anymore. Get him too excited. Look, he seemed to respond when I asked him about food. Are you feeding him? He's fine. He's getting enough food. That's it. You saw. He's you know getting what? enough food. F food. Deal. You guys gotta go. Come on. Tommy in it after. No, no, wait. No eating. Listen, I know that was a meal deal, deal. But it's really late, and we drove all the way here. Do you think it's possible that we stayed the night? <laughs> you just want to stay the night? Yes, just one night, please. We're too tired to drive home now. Yeah, he'll crash and die. To finish outside. I don't want you bothering me or snooping around. Understand? Yeah, you can go back outside. I've always never understood this sort of like trope of hospitable fucking evildoer. Like, like, like they're they're evildoers and they murder people and they do evil shit, but like when if someone like needs a roof over their head for the evening, they can't help but say yes. It's like, okay, but I don't want you snooping around and potentially finding out about all the evil shit I have in this house, and I don't want you bothering me because I will kill you. But you can stay the night because I don't want you out in the cold by yourself. What? It, and it's like, it's like, but the thing is, this isn't like just them because like this is ironic and funny writing. It's like a genuine trope you see in like movies and shit. They're villains, not monsters. Right. Is that what it is? Because yeah, like every time, like every time it's like, it's like, I don't want you snooping around. It's like, if you got shit to hide, just tell him, no, sorry, you can't stay here. I'm not comfortable with that. Please leave. That'd be so reasonable. Uh, we're probably just gonna go to bed. You do not open this door again. You hear me? Yeah, I'm here. I hear you. We won't. When the sun rises, I got you, you guys, guys are sorry. out. Dude, why are you trying to stay in this place? Does this guy not seem dangerous to you? He seems off, and I saw his little brother. I don't think he's taking care of him at all. But we should be worried about taking care of ourselves. What was that base outside earlier? I don't know, but I'm concerned about what's happening in this house. And we still need to talk to Debbie. She's the one who sent us the email. Dude, no! We gotta go! This guy's nuts! Come on, D's. talk to Debbie. Follow me. Ah. Okay. He's Rambo reversed? Oh, kinda true. Okay, I'm gonna 
knock on her door. Right. He's snooping, as he was explicitly asked not to. Tabby? Oh, did Billy Dude, eat Debbie? Okay, I'm just gonna open it. No, wait. What are you doing? You don't do that in a girl's bedroom. What if you see something you're not supposed to? She's not in here. Well, where could she be? What the hell? Creature. Right, well, La creatura. Back, I'm gonna set up a camera. Okay. Billy ate Debbie! Someone said Debbie ran, but her shoes are there. You can't run shoeless. And that's one of her socks. And it's all wet and... That's Dude, saliva, man. Sock here. He ate her. Billy ate her, man. Billy ate Debbie. <gasps> and she pissed herself. Bro, she was being ate, I guess. Don't be snooping around too much. What's this? A Reebok bag. Notebook? Never mind a notebook. Sorry, my bad. What? No woods. Lost. Chester, what are you doing there? Aww. Just okay. I just set up the camera. I want to set up more around the house. But dude, look at these pictures. I think something messed up happened to this. That girl. was good storytelling. I was very, I was very, you know, in intrigued by that. Dude, those are just drawings. Kids draw weird stuff all the time. Let's just focus on collecting actual footage, okay? I'm gonna go set up more cameras. That he keeps in his oh, top pocket? You gotta see this. Dude. Why does he not look? Dick. There's something else I wanna go check. What? What? Okay, so I'm putting some cameras down around this house. I have, I have that exact same GoPro. Okay, so I just placed a few cameras. Now I want to put one in Billy's room. Ooh. Billy? I want to see what this guy's doing outside. Oh, yeah, okay. Reasonable, reasonable. Yeah, I, I'd be more interested in Ron than Billy, honestly. I know Billy looks weird, but like, whatever. He's had an accident, right? Oh, he peed himself, maybe? There he is. Is that Deb? No, he, no, 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 no. He, he ate Debbie. Clearly, that's what the saliva on the sock is about. That or else someone has a foot fetish. Okay, so he's not. Tommy, answer. open up! I'm just gonna open it. Jump scare time. So, I think this guy's done shoveling. <laughs> What's inside there? I don't know! That oddly human-shaped bag does look very weird! Oh jeez! Oh jeez! Ooh! Why are you changing? Oh, he's shaking that shit! What do you want? Huh? Hey, hey, stop! What's going on? He just started attacking me! What's going 
This kid's looking at places he shouldn't be. Stop. Give me the camera. Stop. Stop. Hold it. Listen, listen, I'm sorry. He shouldn't have been recording you. Oh, yeah, no s***. Now, both of you, get the hell out of my house. Listen, Ronnie, please. We really want to spend the night. Chester will delete whatever he just recorded. Chester, delete the footage. Dude, really? Yes, really. Chester, delete it. Okay. Okay, okay, I deleted the footage. Okay, he deleted it. Ronnie, please. The footage is gone. It's really late. If you'll let it stay, me and Chester will just go... <coughs> But he didn't really delete the footage, did he? We know because we saw it. Mm. Sleep. Is that okay? Dude, he attacked me. Mm. Hey. Detective Jack says he didn't do it. You didn't go in this room again, right? Uh, no, I didn't. Dude, this guy's dangerous. He attacked me. Well, why were you recording him outside? Yeah, why were you doing that, dickhead? Well, why did you leave the door open to Billy's room? It was a mistake. I got all the cameras set up. Let's just go to our room and go to sleep. Come on. Oh, yeah, the, the, the going to sleep formula. I forgot okay. about that. <laughs> the key. No, yeah, he's let Billy out. Billy's roaming now. He's in roam mode. He was burning. Oh my god, where are they sleeping in a fucking bunker? Like a person. How are you not concerned? What? I'm very concerned right now. I don't think this guy is treating his brother well at all. Dude, forget about his little brother. I love this obsession with like the little brother thing that I'm very concerned. And it looks like a person. The way he looks over the camera, so it's, 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 I, I like that a lot. I want to say this again. What? <laughs> I'm very concerned right now. I don't think this guy is treating his brother well at all. It gives like fucking like overly like oh, chat face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, I just care about you. I'm very concerned for you. Dude, forget about his little brother. I'm telling you, Ronnie's dangerous. We need to leave this place. Three frames Bro, a second, by the way. I went into Billy's room earlier. He was literally chained to the wall like an animal. Do you know how disgusting that is? It's pretty fucked yeah. up. So why would you want to stay around this guy? Because we know he's been doing something messed up. We gotta stay here. We actually have a chance to help someone. But bro, this place looks like trash. I don't want to sleep here. Dude, these people invited you into their home. You're a guest. You shouldn't say stuff like that. What? Yeah, that's rude, man. He's rude, too. I don't like this fucking Parker guy. Sleep. Bro, Wait, no, not Parker, on. the other one. Chester, sorry, my bad. He's rude. Like, yeah, he may be a murderer, but don't fucking shit on his home decor. Okay, good night. Oh, we didn't even say good night back. They're having a domestic. They're, they're arguing. Shit, they're arguing. He's sleeping in them skinny jeans? I slept in them jeans before. It's okay. Oh. Oh, he doesn't. He don't even sleep. Also, why are his shoulder blades like that? They like protrude very far. He has the key now, though, right? Why is he not? Interesting. Debbie's nowhere to be seen. Oh, where's he going? What's a pull of your fucking trousers, man? He walks so weird. Oh, all right, Billy. Oh, is he gonna hurt him? <laughs> My God, he's loud. All right, Tommy, settle down. I'm sure you were a thousand percent funnier today, please. Oh, he's got some food. What? What is it now? No! This is all the food you get! 
He did eat her. Ronnie frightens me more than Tommy. He definitely seems more aggressive. It's about to happen. <laughs> he fucking emoted! He's emoting! Fucking killed him and emoted? That's funny. <laughs> the fucking editing on that was atrocious. That's funny. <laughs> It's very well done though, the sort of like prosthetics and stuff. Are they gonna wake up? That, that would wake me up, I think. 3 a.m. That's laughing? Sounds like sobbing. Chester's awake. Dude, wake up. You hear that? Dude, what is that? I don't know. We gotta see what that is. No! no. <laughs> it's Ronnie! What? Guys, help! What's going on? The fucking guys help! Guys, help! He's got me! He's got me! Oh, he just ate him. He ate him all up. I guess his brother finally did feed him enough. What the dog doing? What shit was that? Do I have a laugh track on it? I'm Glenn Quagmire. Hey, How are you? The walkie is wouldn't be here anymore, so okay, thank you less than three, less than three. Ooh. I apologize for playing all the funny sound effects through your very heartfelt message. Thank you for the three months. Um, very unfortunate timing. Come on, bro. Is that it? They just leave now? What was that? He sucked up his leg like spaghetti. <laughs> I don't know. Do you think that's what happened to Debbie? Probably. What the hell happened to that kid? I don't know. Let's just find a car. Come on. Okay. Will we never know what happened to fucking Tommy in it to make him like that? To make him suck up his leg like spaghetti? Or what that body is, by the way? Okay. What happened to Debbie then? Please. I'm on the edge of my seat. Thank you guys for watching this video. Let's no! try to smash 100,000 likes for the next episode to be released. And thank you so much for 6 million subs. If you haven't already, smash that subscribe button. Is this not the intro? Life of luxury videos. The video is over now, so you don't need to keep watching. But here's some footage from our new video where we buy a clone off the- I I'm chilling. Thank you, lads. Thank you very much. Life of luxury! It's real. It's real. It's, I can't believe they actually managed to catch all these real things on camera. Though. That's what gets me. That's what gets me. Shame they couldn't help that fucking... Also a shame that they let that fucking creature loose on the world, by the way, by unchaining it and just leaving the house. That, that cannibalistic evil cryptid, they just let that loose on the world and it dresses like Tommy in it. Worst of all, and it has the fashion sense of Tommy in it. And, he's, and all they did is let that out in the world. At least when Ronnie was like chaining it to a wall, it wasn't killing people. Honestly, some people say Ronnie deserved it. He was kind of mean. He was saving the world in a way. He was the only thing stopping that thing from getting out into the world, and they ruined it. Either way, guys, take care. It's been a lovely time. I'll see you all very, very soon.
Oh, cheers, lads. Yeah, thank you. Seagulls.